good day everyone good afternoon um, to um, everyone around the world wherever it is you are watching this uh, this broadcast uh, my name is Mike Davids I was a, a pastor with Omega Fire Ministries of uh, Apostle John C. Suleiman Auchi Edo State I um, was in that ministry as a pastor for 16 years because I, I met Apostle John C. Suleiman in 2003. Um, um, I have um, a proof um, to that effect of the letter, you know, that um, he sent to me uh, July 3rd, 2003. And I left the ministry 2009, with 19, which was last year, uh, last two years, March to be precise you know, on account of certain things, you know, that happened, which I would want the general public to, to know about. But the reason why I am mainly doing this video is because my life as I speak is no longer safe. I, I can't sleep, you know, um, sometimes I don't even have to sleep in my house. I had to just, you know, move away because um, of so many many things that um, you know happening around me threats here and there you know calls from unknown numbers you know threatening my life mm -hmm. you know um, um, uh, secondly so that the general public will be aware that should anything happen to me uh, Mike David so that the general public will know who exactly to hold responsible I know my family has nothing I know I am a nobody to uh, Apostle John C. Suleiman, but I want the general public to know that should anything happen to me, just in case you no longer hear about me, I want everybody around the world, you know, from wherever you are watching this video from, to know that it was Apostle John C. Suleiman that took my life. Now, what happened was, was this. Um, I got married to my wife, um, Pastor Faith, um, uh, uh, Edeko. You can check that up on Facebook and you'll see it. Pastor Faith Unu, Unu Se Edeko. That's the name she presently answers now. I got married to her, you know, in 2000 and, um, uh, 2008, December 6, to be precise. You know, after we, we actually caught it for, or uh, we're in, probably in relationship, we're in relationship for about a period of 10 years because we, we knew each other in secondary school and our friendship developed from there, you know, until when we came out of school and all of that, we both, um, you know, uh, came into agreement to, uh, you know, to, to raise it, to, to study home. But prior to this time, when I finished uh, school, because I had already I'd met Apostle Suleiman and um, we started out, I was the first campus pastor of Ambrose Ali University, Ekuma Edo State. And um, when I met Apostle John Suleiman, you know, being that my wife also knew I was connected to him, so, um, you know, I, I established contact between the two of them so that he also would know her. And from that time, you know, after meeting my wife, I noticed that, you know, things were basically never the same. But although I didn't really put my mind to it because as I then, he was somebody, you know, I greatly esteemed. Somebody that, you know, I've come to love. And then, you know, I, I, I somebody I dear so much and I, I saw as a spiritual father because my father passed. Uh, three months after my wedding, uh, March 2009, was when my father died. And when I met Apostle Suleiman, you know, I was really not bothered because I felt that, you know, I could, I could have a father in him. You know, but, you know, I, my wife had mentioned to me of one or two things, you know, of his invitations of her to, you know, to Benin, to Reliance Hotel. Those of you who know uh, Benin, I don't know whether Reliance Hotel is still there. I think that longer do our and all of that. You know, sometimes we'll invite her over for, uh, you know, to pass the night with him and all of that. I really wasn't bothered because my wife was a virgin. You see, because I didn't, you know, consider it as, as a child of God to have anything to do with my wife for that period of, you know, time that we caught it, you know, because of the kind of home I wanted to build, you know, so, and that was how it, uh, it continued and on and on until we got married. I never, as a matter of fact, you know, because of the way I saw him, I couldn't even imagine that because of my background from the, um, 
uh, Catholic charismatic renewal. That was where I was raised. You know, so I couldn't imagine that you know um, you could if a father could have a daughter that he probably would want to you know especially one that he knows that this was his son's you know fiance that he would want to have something to do with her. You know, so that was it, and we got married. And um, uh, 2019, um, I was posted. Uh, 2009, I was posted to Oshun State. Okay, I think 2010, I was posted to Oshun State because I started out in Asaba. You can go to Asaba and find out. I started out pastoring with Asaba, Omega Fire Ministries Asaba. It was myself and Pastor Gabriel who started that branch. Then from there, I, I, have, I, I was posted to Benin, Urubi, branch 2. Everybody in Omega Fire Ministries, they know me very well all around the world. They know me, Mike David. I pastored there for a while before Pastor Azeme. Before uh, when I left, uh, Pastor Azeme Azena, you know, uh, that was when he took over branch two before he became pastor of branch one. So I was posted to Oshun State. And Oshun State, Omega Fire Ministry Oshun State started exactly um, at the year that uh, a former president of Nigeria, uh, Yaradua, passed. And that was when the ministry started in Oshun State. So after then, we had our first daughter because myself and my wife were married. Uh, we got married 2008, December 6th. We had our first daughter uh, uh, 2009, November 24th, to be precise. That was when we had our first daughter. And between that November 24th and uh, between that November, you know, towards the end of 2009 into 2010, you know, the idea for Celebration TV and Rama for Living, you know, um, was being hatched and uh, discussed and, you know, um, 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 getting it started, you know, you know, became, you know, uh, uh, you know uh, part of the plan on ground. So, um, my wife, who happened to, um, prior to that time, who was a staff with NTA Irrepman, you know, um, Apostle Suleiman had to reach out to her that they would need her services, you know, and support to build uh, Omega at uh, Celebration TV and, of course, you know, Remand for Living and all of that. So, because of that, while we're in a shoot state, she will have to, you know, shuttle between Auchi and all of that and back, just back and forth she was traveling and all of that. You know, people who attest to all of this. All of this is I'm saying are not new to anybody in Omega Fire Ministry, especially those who were in Auchi and all of that. So that was it. And then um, one of the days that my wife went to Auchi and came back, you know, this was six months after we had our daughter, six months going to seven months. She came back from Auchi to Oshun State and she she called me privately. She called me to the room and said that two days after that she wanted to talk to me and that her conscience was killing her over something, you know, she considered too abominable to conceive. So, and I said, what was it? And she said that why in Auchi, that uh, Apostle John Suleiman, you know, uh, lodged that in Uyi Grand, Uyi Grand Hotel. Many of you know Auchi, know Uyi Grand Hotel. And that uh, he came there and, and slept with her. And in the moment he said that, the first thing, you know, that, that came to my, to my mind was about my daughter. And immediately I asked, I said, where was Michelle? Because that was the name of my daughter. She said to me that Michelle was on the bed, pushed outside, and I asked her a question. I said, You mean you had you slept with a man by my daughter on the bed? Then I had to let it go because there was nobody I could tell, and I could not fight Apostle Johnson Suleiman. If I had mentioned it to my family, if I had mentioned it to her family, nobody would believe me. And if I sent her away, the question if people would want to know what happened. And um, for the fact that she spoke to me of her own free will, I had to let it go. I forgive her. After about two, two days, there I told her, I've forgiven you. And that was how we kept on. And uh, the amorous relationship between her and Suleiman continued. But one thing I knew was that my wife was hypnotized. This was not the woman I got married to and I knew for over 11 years. You know, so that was it. And uh, eventually, you know, the situation degenerated and all of that.